dick of this game been so damn good. Said this rap game's been good to me. Hard times. But I don't know how long that's gonna be. Yeah. I hope I don't go back to slavery. I'm gonna introduce this fella, man. Uh, I look at this dude like a brother of mine, special <laughs> friend. He been down with me, man, for a long time, man. I respect his hustle, and I thought it would be a great idea, man, to uh, to interview him about uh, all the positive things he's doing in the city. Uh, being a teenager is something to, uh, to do on the weekends as far as somewhere to party and not be in the streets committing crimes and stuff like that. He's the man to go to, and uh, this special event right here is one of the greatest rappers in my opinion from the west coast uh mr e40 so i want to uh get this guy a round of applause mr said x man for coming in the building man with black eye radio man said x in the building y'all yeah. and that's your boy till we got we got sweet caramel in the building what's up everybody and behind the scenes mr cameraman right there we got mr rock solid man yeah, man and uh say it man tell, tell, tell everybody a little about yourself man and uh tell them about this event you got going on for saturday man we got E40 coming to Pierre's Entertainment Center uh, right. tomorrow, June 6th. Like you said, the legendary E40. Right. So we definitely want everybody to come on and have a good time. And uh, you know, that's pretty much it on that. Just want the whole city to come out. When I talked to E40, he asked me if uh, if the city was coming out. And I said, yeah. Oh, they always do. They always do, man. Uh, so, man, one of the questions I wanted to ask you, man, uh, I don't know if people know, know too much about you, man, but... Uh, I know you used to do security, right? Yep, I still do. Okay. Uh, ZX security. Okay, so how did, how did you go from doing security to uh, promote? Was it because, you know, you started it because you pretty much in the business already as far as seeing entertainers? Is that what made you jump into it? You know, I always had a, I always had a thing for, uh, for uh, promoting and entertaining, man. Like I said, when I was younger, I used to be in a rap group called Black House Production. Okay. So uh, I always had that music in me and always wanted to... You know, do something in music. If I if I wasn't performing, I definitely wanted to be the person in the in the back. You know, what I mean, just promoting, bringing artists or whatever. So I'm doing what I want to do right now. What are group members at now? Though? That's what I want to know. <laughs> uh, they still around. Kilron and Glenn Brewer. They okay, still Glenn. They still out there. You gonna, I know you're gonna kick a freestyle for us at the end of the show, right? Man, I might, man. Hey, man, you, you in the hot seat, time. man. You in the hot seat, man. That's time. how I go, man. <laughs> what uh? As far as uh, promoting, man, you know, I know people think it's easy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what are some of the difficulties you face in promoting? Man, just promoting, it's, 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 it's a lot of hard work, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just try, really trying to get the word out, trying to get people to come to your event. You know what I'm saying? Like our city is a, is a last minute city. So when you promote, you got to be real patient with this city. Because you could think that uh, in the beginning, you'd be like, man, man, I don't think nobody's going to come out. Then all of a sudden, like right now, I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting crazy. It's getting crazy right now. Right, right. Like I honestly say, I'm getting a lot of phone calls. I appreciate everybody that bought tickets. So, uh, so what made you want to get into this business? Like I said, I, like I, said I used to uh, perform when I was younger. We did a lot of talent shows and. When I got older and I started doing like my own adult parties, then I started doing teen parties. And you're like, you know what? I want to do concerts. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said, you know what? I'm going to do a concert. I'm going to do a big concert. I want to do. I just came up with E40 and I was just like, hey, I'm going to ride out with it. So. Now, with this with this promotion, man, the the, uh, the SEDEX Entertainment, did I get it right? SEDEX Entertainment? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, where do you look to take this, man? As far as I could take it, man. As far as I could take it. If, if E40 is, is a success, who do you look to bring on next? Um, <clears throat> I got a couple people in mind, but I got a lot of other promoters that's hitting me up. They want to do shows with me. So I know one person want to do Boosie. I know another person talking okay. about Keith Sweat. Okay. Uh, Scarface and the Ghetto Boys. So mm. I got to. You're taking it back. Man, I got I to. Gotta, I got a lot of different avenues I could go, man. So uh, you never know which one's going to be up, but. I'll definitely let y'all know first. So, as, as what you're promoting, man, um, I know, you know, what's one of the biggest losses you've taken in promoting a party? You know, like, was it a fight or something like that where, you know, the kids, uh, you know, messed up, you know, the building or, you know what I mean? You know, when I do parties, man, like, since I'm in the security business, I always hire extra security. Right. I mean, 
I mean, they might have, they might have like, the venue might have like 12 security. I'm probably hiring 12 more security. Right. My first thing is to make sure everybody's safe. You know, so that's, that's always been my issue, being in the security. But um, a loss that I took, I don't know, I think one time I was like being real arrogant. I took on the show two weeks and nobody showed up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. Nobody showed up. That hurt right there. You know what I'm saying? But it was a lesson learned though. Right, right. So I just, I keep continuing to do things that I want to do and stay away from the things that I don't want to do. Okay. <clears throat> What's good, man? This is, we got, we got to get some, some energy out of you, man. Yeah, this, this, this is a big right event. This, this is a big uh, event that's going to happen. 40 water. Exactly. <laughs> hey, he here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, All right. This is your boy, Rock Solid, man. I want to ask you, how do you deal with the competition? I don't, I don't worry about the competition. If I see somebody that's doing something, I want to, I'll do my best to help them out. You know what I mean? That's just good karma for me. Okay, so I don't worry about the conversation. I just worry about what I can do, and I can put it out there. And if I can help somebody along the way, then that's just me. Because, like me and you were talking before, right. the artist that you chose to, to bring, E40, that's a universal artist. You right. got people, mm -hmm. I've been hearing, you know, people that's young and old that's going to be at right. this thing. You know what I mean? So I think the, the choice and what artists to bring, you was on point with that. So then, like he said, your next artist, what? Because if this is the set, it is a success. Oh, it's gonna be a success, right? Right. Right. So if this is a success, you already know people right. gonna be wanting the next, the next thing. And I'm gonna be willing to bring it to them. Hey, so. hey, 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 before anything, we want to appreciate you at Black Eye Radio for right. taking the time to come in, sit down with us. Right. You know what I mean? And, and you know, hey. Say that to the table. Don't forget about Black Eye Radio. You feel me, man? From here on out, I'm repping y'all. All day, all day. I'm repping Black Eye Radio. Believe that. All day. I got a little pressure on you. You excited? No, what no. what type of feelings you dealing with right now, man? I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Man. I get to meet one of one of my favorite artists, so I'm excited. But I'm excited. Oh, okay. I was nervous, like in the beginning, you know, you know, doing the whole thing. But now, this this at the end, I'm. I'm ready. I fulfill my goal, my definite purpose. So I'm ready, man. I can't Putting, on for, Putting on for the city. Putting on for the city. So what's next for Set X, man? I, I want to see. I see you got I the security. Do, well, what yeah, else, I got man? the security, man. But my main thing is to do an event. I got a. I got a thing that I uh, started uh, two years ago called "Bringing Back the Unity and Love in Our Community." Oh, you know, okay. You know I like so that title. I want to put on some kind of free event, man. So that's gonna be the next thing for me, man. If I can get with some people here around the four way and put on a free event for the kids, I don't know. Some kind of basketball tournament. Put us on, man. Yeah, we we, we don't want some whatever out there just to have, you know, just just anything to bring the city together. You know what I'm saying? Right. Without the love, we ain't got no unity, man. So that's we need true. more unity so we can have more love. So Exactly. That's what I'm on, man. That's my that's my main thing. When my brother I got killed at the Pontiac Mall, that's why I started that. November oh, okay. twenty eighth, two thousand twelve. So Got you. <laughs> that's, my, that's my next name, man. So hopefully uh, I can get people to, to to support that, man. Okay. Hey, you need Black Eye Radio, man. Let us know, man. We'll definitely be a part of that, man. I definitely think we need that for the community, man. Definitely, man. Well, I'm yeah. a fan of Black Eye Radio from here on out, so. Okay. I'm going to be spreading the word. That app need to be yeah. on your phone, you know what I mean? Yeah. Next yeah. concert you go to, you know, yeah. we... We can host it for you, you know what I mean? Like, we, we, we this is what we do, you know what I mean? It's about supporting us, you know what I mean? Supporting our people in our city, man. Right. And, you know, my team, man, we we, we, we love everybody, man. Right. We just need the same effort and support that we put out to everybody. We need that same thing in return, man. Yeah, so true. everybody who downloaded the app, we need y'all to continue to support Blackout Radio, straight up. And uh, you want us at your events, let us know, man. Hit us up on... Facebook, Black Eye Radio FW, Instagram, Black Eye Radio FW. Um, you can hit, you can find me on Instagram, Rock Solid Two Six O T O on uh, Instagram, T O Two Six O T O, and uh, Sweet Caramel as well. Sweet Caramel seventy four. All day. Mean? Don't you start it, Black Out. <laughs> mean, like, don't you start it. Sixty-two. You know what? I think that um, our guest needs a Black Out T-shirt. Man, I'll take it. I think okay. you need to get started on that. Man, I'll take it. Black Out. I got you. For sure. Hey, we got five minutes, people. We got two last tickets. You want these tickets? Hit the number. 
260-410-5114. But I'm telling you now, when you call, you got to be prepared to recite some lyrics. And I ain't even going to make it hard on you. It could be your favorite song. I need some E40 lyrics. Where the right. E40 fans at? Right. You know what I mean? Where the E40 fans at? They sleep. They sleep. Where the E40 fans at? They don't want these tickets. They don't want them. Hey, four one. I know y'all want them. I get a lot of people hitting me up for free, trying to hit me up for free tickets all the time. Oh, Here's well, a chance you. right here. You better stop playing. Me and T.O. be in that thing. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Straight up. I hope, I hope they don't call. <laughs> Straight up, man. They better stop playing, man. So you guys going to join that concert tomorrow night? <laughs> <laughs>